Tell them to floss, you beg them to brush. And then they complain when they have to get a very big needle. I feel like I'm in the electric chair. Actually, it's leather. The doctor will be in in a minute. Okay. Oh no, to Gil! Betty, thank goodness. Infantor is on the loose again. Infantor? But he's just a baby. No, don't be fooled. Infantor is a notoriously cruel intergalactic alien child who's taking his temper out on the galaxy of Colorosia. Colorosia? The most vibrant galaxy in the entire universe. Not for long. Infantor has found a way to extract the multicolored magma from the core of the planets to create his own line of fiendish action figures. The planets will be destroyed. He must be stopped. Go, Betty. There's not much time. I'm on it, Admiral DeGill. Hey, Betty! Wanna try the new caramel-coated plutonic corn kernels? They're wicked sweet! Oh. oh, yeah, I forgot you have a cavity. Right? Cavity, a decaying mass of bone matter caused by excessive bacteria in the human oral cavity. You really know how to take the fun out of eating. To the Galaxy Colorosia, guys. Sparky, full thrust. Where has that girl got to now? Colorosia! One of the 777 wonders of the universe. It's even more beautiful in real life. Oh no! <gasps> the planets are fading! And deflating. <gasps> Infantor! from just walking in there and putting the squeeze on the little pimp squeak! Flying saber tooth space rattles. What? <gasps> Flying saber tooth space rattles! <laughs> Evasive measures immediately! <laughs> Don't worry, I've got it! <gasps> that was an unwise choice, Sparky. Destruction is now imminent. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> My tooth, Sparky, my tooth! Did you see that, huh? Oh. I'm the greatest space rattle fighter in the universe! Oopsie. <laughs> This isn't turning out like I planned. <laughs> at least I'm not at the dentist. If I told her once, I've told her a thousand times. <sighs> Disappearing is not what ladies do. That girl seems to live on another planet. Pleasure to meet you, 
thanks for your visit. Uh, sorry it can't be under more survivable circumstances. <laughs> Allow me to introduce my Terminani. <laughs> As soothing as your average caregiver, I know. <laughs> and have you noticed the boiling magma? <gasps> as witnessed by my five previous nannies. I got problems with authority. I think we're in trouble, guys. Proceed with the dipping. Ah! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? As unlikely as that seems. We're, we're going, going to be dipped. dipped. Suddenly, this seems way worse than a filling. <laughs> Activate Tarpini and Rope Thrower. Retract. Sure, this is a good idea. Our chances of survival are one in 758. Release! Ah! Ow! Cage smashing can be really tough on the teeth. This is one of those good news, bad news situations, isn't it? Betty, I require assistance. I'm on an X5. Heat seeking missiles. Beginning to dislike that girl. Oh no, where's Sparky? Over here! Everything's under control! Evaluating priorities oh. must assist. Hmm. I'm beginning to dislike all of them. I'll get you, Atomic Betty! I'm sure she's fine. What kind of trouble could a little girl like her get up to? Disarm further nasty nannies. Uh -huh. Way to go! Ow, my tooth! Oh. Leave the last one to me! Just where I want some. Sparky, watch out! <laughs> Good time to be rescued. Oh no. I think I might have started something here I don't want to finish. X5, reverse the magma machine. 
sheet. Executed. Sweet. To the dentist, Buggy. Let's go. I'm on it, machine head. What? Where have you been, Betty? The doctor has been waiting and waiting. Don't you look like a brave girl? Just goes to show you, there's worse things in a cavity. Ow! It's bad enough Atomic Betty is always in my way. Now that green simpleton pal of hers is acting the hero, they must be destroyed. Welcome to Space Strings! I'm your host, Captain Chuck. Now, let's meet our first contestant. Ah! Or not. Okay, who's next? Oh, evil one, sir. I think I have a nasty idea. <laughs> no, no, no. There's no way you're selling my sports trophies. How about this old stuff? Sir Persephus's baby stuff is off limits. I couldn't possibly give up his bronze hairball. Hey, what about Betty's old comic book collection? No way. These aren't just comics. This is a complete set of 380 volumes of classic Earth Invaders. Don't you think you're a little old for comics, Betty? No! You can't sell them! I'll store them in my room. They can even have my bed! Who needs sleep? I have an idea. Instead of selling them, we can make a game of it! People can buy tickets, say, two for a dollar, and we'll draw for the winner! That's not a solution! Dad, help me out here! <gasps> While we're at it, let's sell that charm bracelet. It's gotta be broken. It won't stop beeping. I'm getting out of here before you try to sell me. Don't go! Uh, maybe I could fix it! I am too smart enough! Take it back, you... you big tin can! What's the emergency? Why'd you beat me? My comics are about to be sold. Two guesses for a dollar! They invited me to be on Space Brains because I'm a hero! But X5 doesn't think I'm smart enough! I'm sure X5 didn't mean it, right? I merely pointed out that Space Brains is a notoriously difficult show. There we go, all settled. Now, if you two will excuse me, my comics! <gasps> you can't leave! I need you for moral support! Pretty please? <sighs> Fine. <gasps> I'll take you across the galaxy but I have to be back for the garage sale. This show better be good. Welcome to Space Brains. The show starts with an impossible to do stunt, then a gross out competition where only one contestant will survive to advance to the final trivia round. Survive? This 
isn't good. I know. I'm not good at trivia. Oh, good afternoon. I need you to sign this uh, release form. Uh, here. In case of... Is that death? Why am I signing this? Oh, it just prevents you from suing the producers in case of, uh, you know, shortness of breath, hair loss, accidental decapitation, falling from great oh. heights. Does that happen a lot? <gasps> uh, once in a while. I don't know, Sparky. Space Brain sounds really dangerous. You look really familiar. Relax! I'm a hero, remember? I can totally handle a little game show. Good, because you're on. Four, three, two for a dollar. Get your tickets for the big comic book draw. Are you sure we should be selling Betty's comics? Oh, pish posh. Betty's not a child anymore. It's time she realized there's no such thing as alien creatures from outer space. Welcome to Space Brains. I'm your host, Captain Chuck. Let's meet our first contestant. Yo! Hey! My name is Keto. <laughs> My name is... His name is Sparky. Let's get started. Our competitors will now take a zero-gravity space cycle around the third moon of Trivius while ducking random laser fire from the failed Trivius planetary defense satellite. But that's not all, is it, folks? No! They also have to fend off blood-sucking vampire bats from the planet Flyon! You look worried, Chief. Are oh, you thinking about Sparky? Yeah, I have a funny feeling about this. I hope my comics are okay. It's all working beautifully. Good work for once. Oh, thank you, most evil master. But I can't take any credit. It was your idea to buy the 3V show. True, such genius. Sparky will have an easy win, and I will finally know the exact location of Atomic Betty's home planet! <laughs> so I can destroy it. Number 39 and 40. Good luck! Well, I think I'll take two myself. Say, number 41 and 42. But I thought we were trying to get rid of these comics. Hey, the customer's always right. Hand them over. Sometimes you can be just as strange as your daughter. <laughs> that was definitely Minimus. This must be a trap by Maximus. I wonder what horrible fate he has in store for poor Sparky now. The first one to finish eating 300 mud beetles from the planet Uranus will advance to the final trivia round! But be careful, their venom packs a nasty digestive punch! It's a good thing I'm feeling a little peckish. Release the beetles! And the winner is... Sparky! I guess Sparky skipped his lunch. Now for the final trivia round. Please pick an envelope, Sparky. I don't understand. What could they possibly hope to learn from Sparky? For the all expenses paid trip to the chocolate planet of Catburius, what is the exact location of Atomic Betty's secret home planet? You have 30 seconds. That's what! We have to get out of here! <laughs> Hope we're not 
not too late. Their time's up! What's your answer? Well, Captain Chuck, Sparky, mm. don't! It's a... If I told you the secret location of Atomic Betty's home planet, then it wouldn't be a secret anymore, would it? <laughs> Show's not over yet. Oh. Maximus is getting away. Huh? But what about my prize? I bought these for you. Thanks, Dad. But I don't think they're going to help. I'm number 41. I won! Uh, but wait. How'd you know we'd win? That bingo machine always shoots out ball 41. Has for 20 years. Why do you think we're selling it? Thanks for being the best dad ever. Yeah!